Hey there YouTubers. So today we're going to look at a deer head that I've been neglecting. This has been sitting out here for a year now. And a little bit of water in there. So clear the water off. Pull that out of there and see what we got now. Wow. Well, it looks like well, it's cleaned up pretty good, but there's still a little bit of crap here. I'll put it in my other bucket here and swish it around a bit to see if any of that comes off. Ooh, that smells. It's probably the water, but... Clean up a little bit. calcium or something there. It looks like you can see all the way down into the cavity. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's been pretty cleaned out. I can see all the way through the nasal passage. It's starting to split just a bit there, so I might have to glue that just a touch once it dries out. Well, really what I need to do is get some clean water, clean out a little bit, so we'll go get some cleaner water and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, back with some cleaner water. This is our deer seal from last year. White stuff just comes off. I forget what that's called. Some sort of soapy fat of some type. Ooh, missing a tooth here. I don't know if that's in the bucket still. Take a look and see. Yeah, because these are loose. Yeah, hopefully I didn't pour that out with that last batch of water. But I probably did. I don't know if you're looking for that. Probably what would be good here is a little toothbrush. Just brush some of this stuff up a bit more. Yeah, it's looking pretty neat. And like I said, that's been sitting there since last October. It's been a... Oh, no, last December is when I got this one, so... It's been a whole year, this December now. And, uh... I put, uh... Just put this in a bucket of earth, like you see. That's the bucket I came out of. 
I filled it up with a bunch of earth from my composter and in the spring I, uh, I added some worms some earthworms and stuff just uh, in case there wasn't enough in the compost and uh, they basically ate all the flesh off of that and all the brain and everything so now we have a nice clean skull to do a European mount with so it just needs to be brushed up a little more I'm gonna let it I might just let it air dry for now and like I said, see if I can find where that other tooth just fell off too. Yeah, I might lose, I might have lost that tooth before. The bones chipped away here. Could be around. I'm gonna pull out the bottom. Jaw is still in here. Let's put that down there. pieces. Still got a bit of a smell to it, that's for sure. Let's see if we can find the other one in there. There you go. Let's see all the mealworms or something. Dump this in my bucket here and clean it. bit of a cleaning. All these teeth are loose too. I guess that must be the, one of the front teeth. Which is missing on this one. So it might be in the bucket there still too. But I don't think I want to use these these on the mount anyways. Most of them are just the, the head so just clean them up. See what they look like to work and gross people out. <laughs> well that's it. Bit of a stink going on here still. Nothing like the smell of decomposition. I don't know if I'll go through and see if I can find the other tooth or not. It's not really gonna matter if it's missing a tooth on the mount anyways. It'd be better if I had them all but It'll be a bit of a work to find them, and it's only one degree out here today, so it's a, a bit chilly working in the water. Hey, right, that's it, YouTubers. Uh, probably uh, work on that again in the spring when it's a bit warmer out. Clean it up a little more, then uh, give it a paint job and figure out what I'm going to mount it on. Have a good day. And just quick note: just jump, dumping out the barrel that I rinsed off, and then here's the other front tooth. I'll be able to do that one into the jaw.